Welcome to Crojo Corner. My name is Laura and this channel is all about crochet and crochet related items, giveaways, and all kinds of things yarn. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video. Now today we are going to do something a little bit different. Um, I haven't been able to actually crochet for a while actually since last August when I hurt my shoulder. I have been using these ice packs like crazy on my shoulder and the cover that I have for these ice packs is just one from like Walgreens and it's real thin and it's really old and gross and just falling apart and I was like boy I would really love to have a cover for my ice pack and then I thought I could just crochet one and then I remembered I can't really crochet because it inflames my arm and it just will prolong the healing process so we're not going to go that route right now but then i remembered that i had made this it was supposed to be like a washcloth and then it was going to be a towel it just is like an awkward size um this is just half double stitch with a double crochet around the edge and it just happens to fit onto my ice pack now, if I were to specifically do this for my ice pack, I would probably do two separate pieces and then sew them together. But since I already have this made, I'm just gonna do it like this. And it's, it is easier because you only have to do, you know, the seam on the one side here. So I'm just going to place my ice pack down here and then fold it over. And all I'm gonna do is just stitch around the edges here to close it up, making sure that I only go to the corner here to leave this open to slide your ice pack in, in and out. And then I wanna fold it over and then I'll have my perfect little case for my ice pack. Now I bought these buttons, I believe they were at Joann's. They were in a bag and they came with all kinds of different flowers and little spring uh, colors and stuff like that. Uh, there's some round ones in here. I can't remember if those were included in the kit or if I just mixed these all up together because they were the same, you know, because they were the same uh, theme. But I did get those buttons at Joann's. So to make this, you would need, um, what I used was a little ball of the Crafter's Secret Cotton from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love the colors in these. It reminds me of Valentine's Day. Every time I go there, I end up picking up a few of these just because I love them so much and then some cotton white, uh, your scissors. I used a five millimeter hook. You wanna use a tape measure, although you can eyeball it like this, like I did. You know, you can hold your chain up, make sure it's going to be long enough, you know, however you wanna do it. Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and make a chain. I did mine about 13 inches long for this size ice pack. So that way you have enough room for the flap to come over. So go ahead, make a chain about 13 inches long, and then do half doubles all the way up until it's about double the width of your ice pack. So say if you were to flip it over, it's pretty much the same length on both sides because you're going to then do a double crochet around the edges or with a two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in each corner. And that's how we're going to make this piece. I would demonstrate everything step by step, but right now I am unable to crochet due to my injury, hence the ice pack situation. So I'm gonna go ahead, let you do that part, and then I will be right back to show you how to assemble it. When I sew these type of things, I like to use my stitch markers and I store my stitch markers inside my stitch marker wallet that I designed and created. And if you'd like to learn how to make that, I'll go ahead and link a video above and below. But this stitch marker wallet is pretty cool because you can store your hooks in it and then there's different pages where you can store all of your stitch markers. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this over and then I'm just going to um, hold it together with some stitch markers so it's easier to sew and so it stays lined up. Okay, I've got my stitch markers on. I've got my little Tom and Jerry stitch markers and a little rabbit stitch marker. I believe I got these from Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. She always has some really cute stitch markers and I know she has an Etsy shop, so you might wanna check out her channel. I know she has links to it, but it's called Rose Likes Crochet. She's awesome. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and sew up the edges and I have these yarn needles that I got from Amazon, but look how it says yeen needle. 
apparently they uh, didn't notice that typo. So I'm going to use my 100% cotton yarn with my ye needle and sew up around the edges. So I like to start in the corner. Now I'm just going to do a whip stitch all the way around. So in order to do that, to hold down my uh, thread here, I'm just going to kind of put it across and catch it in my stitches every time I go around. If you wanna close yours up a different way that you think is better, be my guest. I never claim to be a seamstress. This is just how I would do it. All the way around, holding down that tail so it stays secure. So just whip stitch it. This is really easy to do. And luckily I have another odd shaped uh, dish towel that I'm going to make into a pocket as well. So I'll have two of these little ice pack covers. And they're nice because they're cotton. They absorb the any moisture that you get. If you make these, don't use acrylic because then it will become a wet mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this together and I will be back when I'm done. So now I have uh, sewn together the edges around the bottom and the side. And then I came up to the little corner at the top here. And then I stitched all the way around here to the very end of the corner. So that way it stays nice and secure. And then I tied a little knot I'll probably just do another one just to make sure. Okay, so then we'll just go ahead and weave that in a little bit just to hide it for when we do the flap. This is so easy and it's just basically a dishcloth. You can do any pattern you want. It's just basically like a dishcloth. You just make it a little bit bigger, not quite as big as a hand towel and then just make a flap, fold it over and make a flap. Okay. Okay, so let's see if our little ice pack fits into here. Looks like it's going to. Okay, it looks like it fits well. So then I'm going to determine my flap to the size of this ice pack because these are the ones that I have. So I'm going to grab my button. We could put it about right here. And then we can take our chain and make it go around the button like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this on. So I'm basically going to use my crochet hook to pull the strands through to the inside. And hold on to it and then tie those uh, strings together on the inside to fasten the button. Now if you have regular size needles, do it the normal way. But this is what happened to me. I didn't have the right size needle to go through this big old button. So I'm going to go ahead and double knot that. That's secure. Maybe I'll triple knot it just to be sure. Cut off the ends. So I'm going to make a chain that connects from here to here and wraps around the flower. I'll just go ahead and use the white cotton yarn and just go ahead and make some stitches and just kind of eyeball it. Let's just do our chains. This I can do for a couple of seconds and it doesn't hurt too bad. I'm not sure exactly how many we're going to need. Everyone's is going to be probably a little bit different. Depends on the exact size that you're making. So you want it to fit right up underneath that button. Now that should be good. Okay, so here we have our little chain and we are just going to attach it to this back panel here and just kind of pull that through like a slip stitch. And then we will cut that off and knot it. And then we'll weave in the ends. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Just kind of slip stitch it in. And knot it. 
once we knot it, then we'll go ahead and weave these ends in. So here you have your ice pack holder with your little loop attached. Now let's put our ice pack back in here and see how it looks. So my ice pack is in and here's our handy dandy little holder, all filled up and ready to go. So I can't wait to put this on my shoulder when I'm done recording this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to the patrons I have. I just got another Patreon, uh, Melissa Crochets with Love. We've got Triple C Dana from uh, Creatively Created Crochet, and we also have Angel M. Thank you so much, patrons. I really appreciate it. If you would like more information on joining my Patreon, just go ahead and click the link below. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks. Bye. If you like diamond painting, make sure you check out my other channel, Diamond Painting with Laura. Check it out. I have a new Patreon tier for only $2 a month. Go to patreon.com slash crojo corner. If you have trouble sleeping, check out my new channel, Soul Candy Cafe. Rain sounds and meditation music to help you sleep.